This video is brought to you by Bye Bye Baby. For three years through two kids, we've used the IKEA Analop high chair. It's treated us well, and I've talked about it a bunch, but it's time we explore some other options for you. We'll mostly be talking about some premium chairs, but highlight some good budget picks too. Also remember, you can scrub through the time code of this video to jump to a particular section. Let's go. So when I'm shopping for a high chair, I'm looking for a few things. Number one, easy to clean. Number two, overall fit and comfort. Three, longevity. Four, footprint, size. And number five, which is the least of the bunch, is the aesthetic fit. It'd be nice if it was good looking, but that's not a must have. So we're gonna explore three different price ranges, $200 and up, one to $200, and then the sub $100. We're gonna start with that premium price point since that's what I get asked about the most, and then we'll work our way down. So the trip trap is probably the one that I've heard the most about coming into this, but I didn't really like know why it was so hyped up. But after using it, I realized that the one main thing that I did like about the chair was how long it could be used for. Obviously, it'll start out like you know any other high chair with a tray, or you can just like push it right up to the table without the tray, which is actually how it's mainly intended to be used. But as they grow, you can drop the seat and footrest to a lower notch. Lately, our toddler has been using it, and I actually think it's better as a toddler seat than a high chair for that you know under one year of age. He'll probably continue using it, and in theory, keep using it until he's a 200 pound adult, which it actually can support. The chair itself is 199, but the baby set will cost you just a little bit more. Now, using it as a baby high chair, like I said, I, you know, I think it's okay. It's sleek, it's got a simple modern design, which makes for easy cleaning, especially when you're not using the cushions uh, from the baby set. And the chair doesn't really have very many hidden nooks for food to hide. Um, with the cushions still, you know, it's easy to wipe down, uh, but it can be tough to remove it because you need to you know, remove like that front support and the harness to, to get it all off. If you're using the tray, it is easy to remove, maybe not as convenient as some of the others that we're gonna get into, but again, I think that many parents will probably opt for a no tray option and just have their littles right up at the table uh, and maybe using something like an easy peasy mat uh, instead of a tray. And on that note, all the chairs that I'm talking about, the easy peasy mats and, and whatnot, all that's gonna be linked below if you're interested, buying through that link, help support this channel to no additional cost to you. So, thank you. Moving on, the Trip Trap's harness can sometimes be a little bit more cumbersome compared to others. And I think if you've got you know, a chunky baby, it might be a little harder uh, of a squeeze in there compared to others that might have a little bit more space for them. Now, the last highlight here is gonna be something that draws a lot of people in, and it's that unique ergonomic design. It's got that double curved back, which is meant for uh, proper positioning for a developing spine. And that bottom plank that you've been seeing is a footrest, also meant for proper positioning and support. Now, let me steer away from product for a quick sec and just talk about the whole concept of a footrest. From what I've learned, uh, you may often see children cross their legs when sitting, and they do that because it's occasionally a sign that they're seeking stability. Now, this alone could probably expand to a deeper video on its own, but essentially, Proper positioning with a, a footrest theoretically has multiple advantages, including your child potentially sitting longer and eating more before they get fussy. Now, I don't know if that's purely anecdotal or if it's a proven fact that you know a footrest has major advantages, but it is something that you may hear a lot of parents buzz about. I personally haven't seen a massive difference in our kids' behavior with or without a footrest, nor do I really know like the medical ergonomic implications on their spine or anything like that, since I, I've kind of used like the Analop a lot more, but up to now they, you know, they seem fine. What I will say is it's often recommended to find a high chair with a footrest, and we're gonna have cheaper options later in this video that do have that, but I'm not gonna say it's an absolute locked in requirement. Anyway, back to the trip trap. Overall, it's a very well thought out high chair, specifically from a design standpoint. I don't think it's an absolute you know, perfection, but I understand why it is popular, not just for the baby stage, but throughout all years of childhood. Next up is gonna be the four moms high chair. Now, much like the trip trap, it's very easy to clean for the most part. I just, you know, wipe it down. Uh, the main place food might like to hide though is kind of near that crotch strap opening. If you need to, you can occasionally undo the threading and remove that seat cushion to get under uh, to clean as well. Now that process, in my experience, does take some effort. It's not a simple, easy thing to remove it, 
but you know we we don't do it super often just if we feel like there's there's some buildup. What I really love is that this has a tray cover. So in most instances, you don't even need to remove the entire tray altogether to clean it. You just take the cover off, which will wash easily. Over time, you may get some staining from like pasta sauces and whatnot if you're like slow to wash it, but that's uh, it's just kind of what happens with, with kids. Submerging the entire tray underwater, we don't normally do, um, mostly because water might get into some crevices where you know it can't come out, which could potentially lead to molding. Uh, so we just hit it with a spot clean throughout. The only thing, again, that we're really submerging underwater, if at all, uh, is gonna be the tray cover that comes off easily. This guy, again, just a spot clean. One thing you may hear a lot about is how this tray is actually magnetic, which is a fun feature. It's what makes it super convenient getting the tray on and off and having used the analog for so long. Upgrading to something like this is so amazing. Now on that note, the thing that I wouldn't get too hyped about is the magnetic flatware. It's a really cool concept, but parents may overestimate the strength of the magnets. And I'll tell you what, like your kids, your little ones, after a few months, it's not gonna take them very much effort to get this thing like right off the table. It's not meant to be a super strong, firm hold like a lot of people may think it is. Uh, it's gonna be good enough to keep it in place, but not like be like this absolute locked on thing. You may just wanna go with a basic flatware or something like an easy peasy map. The last thing here that I've been asked about is again related to the tray. Can it be kicked off? There have been reported instances where a child is kicked off the tray and honestly it hasn't happened to us and I don't think it's very common but it, it can happen, yeah. For some kids they'll actually be able to figure out how to use their foot to press the button and pull the lever forward which will open the, the, the tray locks and release it and they can like kick it into the abyss. Now again, not common, but yeah, sure, it can happen. Now, if that's the case, I would suggest using one of uh, the Four Mom's other amazing features, which is the height adjusting. You can keep the tray off altogether, adjust the height of the chair to match your table, and then just have them eat right at the table, no tray. And again, you can use an easy peasy mat or like a sticky silicone mat, so it won't slide around so much. This is made to grow with your child up to 60 pounds, so eventually you're, you're gonna ditch the tray anyway. Overall, I really like the four moms, possibly even more than the trip trap, but I wanna get to my sleeper pick. So I don't know that everyone would agree with me here, but of the chairs in this price range, the Oxotot Sprout is kind of my favorite. From an aesthetic standpoint, I am a fan of the wood accents. Again, it is very easy to clean with a tray that is simple to adjust and remove. Like the four moms, it does come with a cover to protect it, which I absolutely love. And the five point harness is easy to work with. And another thing that I like here is the seat cushions are Velcroed on. Now, we usually just do a spot clean, but taking the cushions off makes for easier wipe downs and access to the seat where food may occasionally end up. This is also made to grow with your child. You can remove that middle crotch support and put on the toddler cushion that it came with. And just like that, you got a chair for toddlers and kids up to 60 pounds. There are three levels of height adjusting. It's really easy to do. You just use the sides to pop the seat off and just move it up and down. Uh, and there's also a footrest, but it's not easily reached by younger babies compared to toddlers in over 12 months. Now note that this high chair does not fold down. None of the options I just talked about do, uh, but they all weigh around the same amount, about 15, 20 pounds. So they're, they're pretty easy to move around the house. Now of these, the four moms has a slightly larger footprint with its rear legs extended just a few inches further, but Really though, they don't take up that much space. It's not that bad, especially in comparison to the Ikea Analog whose legs go all the way outward. I've tripped on those so many times. These ones, not that bad. Guys, I know that section was long. The next ones are gonna go a little bit faster. I just know that people have a lot of questions, especially for those high-end options. And I just wanna, I just wanted to give it its time. Now, one thing to keep in mind for all these though, remember that if you're part of Bye Bye Baby's email list or you you get their paper mail, remember that you can get a 20% off coupon, which you can use on some of these things. All right, so next let's move on to the one to $200 budget. If you'd like something like the Oxo Tot Sprout, but want it at a lower price point, uh, check out the Evolure three in one. It's pretty similar and it is coming in at just around a hundred bucks. Also, if you want something like the Trip Trap, but this is kind of the range you want, then the Kikaru might be one to consider as a very similar concept, but under that $200 mark. Now it's not that much cheaper than the Stoka option, but you know, it'll save you a few bucks. Uh, the one that I do want to dive a little bit more into though is the Graco Duo Liner. 
Uh, six and one, great go. It's you know it's definitely going to be a safe bet in the high chair game. The big thing here is its longevity and, and versatility. This chair can be broken up basically into six stages, with the ladder stages designed for for bigger kids. For me personally, I don't really like that those ladder stage options don't have like a seat back, so I'd probably lean more toward a regular chair with a booster or you know going with something like an ox with top sprout. But as a high chair, it really is great. It's got an adjustable footrest. Uh, one-handed tray operation and a cushioned seat pad. Now, while the seat pad you know, does offer comfort, usually any fabric padding, it gets a little bit tougher to clean on a day-to-day -day basis. Luckily, you know, it can be removed and washed, but I would say most parents usually find it more convenient to just spot clean it with just you know, an easy wipe down. Uh, that's why you know, non-fabric surfaces are probably you know, a little bit more advantageous. It's one of the few here with good height that can reach countertops, but maybe a tad too high for dining tables. Um, the main thing here that you may find to be an issue though is its size. While it can fold, uh, it is the bulkiest option that I'm highlighting. It doesn't have that lean compact form factor like the others. Uh, the tray alone is pretty hefty compared to the others. It's very great go, but I mean, altogether a very reliable option. All right, lastly, the sub $100 category. It's a range that a lot of people are gonna be considering. Again, outside of the Antelope, I think the Graco Table Fit and the Simple Switch uh, are, are some of the best choices here. The Even Flow Symmetry, and also check some of the boxes as well. But uh, the one I, I really wanna get into is actually the Primo Convertible Folding High Chair, which uh, is just under the $100 mark. But again, it is even cheaper if you use that 20% that off coupon from Bye Bye Baby. If you notice, it's very similar to the Baby Bjorn high chair as well as the Antelop, but I'd say more convenient. Of the bunch I am mentioning, I really like this one the most outside of the premium options. Uh, it's a nice space saving high chair that can fold and be tucked away as needed. There is no fabric, uh, so it kind of has a similar feel to the Antelope. It's really easy to clean, uh, has an adjustable footrest for good positioning, which the Antelope does lack. It's got a convenient tray. It's a little bit smaller than some of the others, but it does come with that snap-on lid. So it's gonna be a little bit easier. This is definitely one of those things that I don't think it's highlighted very much, but it should, it's pretty solid. The last one here that I'll mention is the Guzzy and Gus Perch Hanging High Chair. Uh, this is an ultra portable option that can be secured onto most tabletops and countertop surfaces. Now there's some things like, you know, glass countertops where it's not gonna be able to be used. So go and buy by baby, read into it first before you buy to make sure it's compatible. But if it is, it's a really cool option. It's particularly good if you have a table that might be in a regular height or maybe you only have counter height options. This would work for you pretty nicely as all the others that I mentioned early on, they don't really go that high with the exception of the Graco. Um, initially, it is scary to set it up, but once it's on as they've instructed, it is on and it can support littles up to 37 pounds. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. If you have any suggestions or thoughts, please comment down below. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for new parents, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless. Later.